Merry Christmas and good morning on this Christmas morning. My name is Pastor Scott and I'm pastor here at Ascension Lutheran Church in Citrus Heights. And I bring you these Christmas greetings from our sanctuary here in front of the stained glass window that we've used on our Christmas card this year that depicts the mother Mary holding the baby Jesus with Joseph looking on adoringly and the angels above declaring the good news that has come to all of us on this Christmas morn. I offer these words from the prophet Isaiah to you, chapter 9, verse 6. We read, For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Merry Christmas, the waiting is over. The child has been born for us, a son given to us. Although the irony is that Jesus is not our child, but through Jesus, you and me become children of God. Today is the first of the 12 days of Christmas, the, the season of Christmas. And you may be familiar with that, that song, the 12 days of Christmas, and recently there's been some work trying to connect those 12 days with the gifts on each of those days theologically to Christianity. And while those efforts are, are done for, for good purposes, there's probably little that suggests that that song was written for Christians, much like the candy cane was probably not created to represent a shepherd's staff with the red representing the blood of Christ and the white um, the cleansing of our sins. Nonetheless, that song and the, the candy cane can be reminders of, uh, to us, even though they weren't intended for that, of the good news of God's love for each and every one of us. This, the words from the prophet Isaiah tell us not only it's good news that Jesus is born, but it names Jesus as wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, and prince of peace. Could you imagine having to write out all of that if you were signing paperwork, for perhaps for a mortgage or, or purchasing a car? I mean, they certainly wouldn't make the lines long enough to get all of that in there. And yet when we say Jesus, we know who we are talking about. We know that implied in that name are those other titles of Jesus. For long, long ago, it was a tradition that a name would mean something and you'd be named something to demonstrate that meaning. And I, I'll not suggest that Jesus means wonderful counselor, um, mighty God, everlasting father and prince of peace initially, but it has come, that name has come to mean those things to us. My name, Scott, has, has a meaning. It means somebody who is from Scotland, but I'm not. In fact, uh, my parents' good friend's name was Scott, and my mom liked the name, and, and so I am named after my parents' good friend, who is also my godfather. There's a lot of meaning in names, and they serve as a reminder, maybe as that song or as, a, as Candy Cane does, of, of different things for us. But on this Christmas morning, we remember that Jesus was born born in a lowly manger, born for you and for me as the wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father and prince of peace. And so on this Christmas morning, we celebrate and give thanks for the Christ child who has broken into human history as a sign and symbol of God's love for you and for me. And on this day, we can give thanks that through his birth, we too have the opportunity to experience a new birth. So happy birthday, Jesus. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for another <clears throat> Christmas moment from Ascension Lutheran Church.